Eaves are scaling fences and area porches in Reservoir Hill with no regard for the law. Uh, here we go again. They have been at least five, five reported home invasions right along Madison Avenue since Friday. Mm -hmm. It's Monday. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to WMAR 2's Dave Delling in the neighborhood tonight with a look at the suspect video. Dave. Well, items stolen include cash, laptops, even shoes. In some cases, homeowners were inside. As to how these thieves get inside, they're using simple items like a trash can to scale fences, and then they're looking for open doors and open windows to gain entry. I think there has been at least five houses that have been successfully broken into and things have been stolen. And these are the suspects believed to be responsible. They're no acrobats, but using some ingenuity, the pair scale alley fences along the 2400 block of Madison Avenue. They gain entry to backyards and then homes. I'm used to it, seeing it. I, I don't tolerate it. Judith McKenzie says she recently stopped someone posing as a maintenance worker from entering her back door. But these guys, they're operating at night. Neighbors tell us the latest homes were hit Friday into Saturday between midnight and 6 a.m. It's a very strong community. People really care about each other. Um, we come together when, when we need to in good times and in bad times. And that's why neighbors are sharing these videos, including this one of a suspect walking up to another home door, only to turn around when a loud tone goes off. We moved in here in uh, October of 1997. Arlen Culler says living in fear is not an option. That's why he says hello to everyone, encourages people to file police reports, and even stares down news crews who appear to be strangers in his neighborhood. That's just common sense. In the other neighborhood, you know, you would report a crime. You would talk to your neighbors. You'd be on the lookout for your neighbors if you see something uh, suspicious. Like when I walked up, I saw you at the door, and I was like, that's why I stayed back. I was like, okay, what is he doing? Neighbors say vigilance is key. They're also asking people to pull trash cans inside property lines so they can't be used like ladders. And to stay in the know, people are encouraging neighbors to join the local Neighborhood Improvement Association. Meantime, if you have any information about these crimes, give police a call. Reporting in Reservoir Hill, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.